Hey guys, I've got a uh, new video for you here. Um, it's a different kind of video. I, I'm not much of a mechanic, but I do work on my cars. And I've been looking online to figure out, I did a search on my car um, engine trouble code, kept getting a check engine light. And I did a search online once I figured out what the code was and found that uh, between online and in my book I had that the trouble code was for a problem with the EGR valve, the exhaust gas recirculation valve. And basically the, the short of that is the engine sucks back some of the uh, burnt exhaust back into the intake to help cool the engine and reduce emissions and stuff like that. So the problem was I didn't know where it was at. So <laughs> I mean I looked online, I, I even pulled up the Chilton manual for this model, my 1991 Mercury Grand Marquis, and I couldn't figure it out. So everything that I I looked up said it was more towards the cabin side of the engine, which was going to be a pain to get out. But because I couldn't find that information, I figured I'd make this video real quick and show you guys where it's at in case you're having problems with your EGR valve and you want to know where it's at. So let me uh, flip the camera around and we'll get you a shot here into my, my engine bay. And don't judge me for it being dirty. It's an old-ish car and it's what I've got. She still runs. So. <laughs> Give me just a second, we'll get the camera turned around. So this is under the hood here. Um, we're looking for the EGR valve, like I mentioned, the exhaust gas recirculation valve. Um, on this car, this is, like I said, 1991 Mercury Grand Marquis. It has a 5.0 liter um, EFI engine. It is a 302, I believe, for those of you that are more car savvy than I am. Um, but yeah, this is this is the engine. It's also the same engine that's put into a 1993 Ford Mustang and some older models as well. But it's a nice rugged engine. It's a uh, eight-cylinder. Um, I really like it. It's got plenty of power. Get up and go. Does the job. So for the exhaust gas recirculation valve, and many of you car people are probably already laughing at me because you can see it, but. <laughs> From what I had found on other videos, it actually had it back in here. It was down under this section here. It was down and low. They had to take pieces off here. And I really didn't want to take a whole bunch of stuff off to try and get to it. Because as far as I knew, it only needed cleaned as long as it was still holding vacuum pressure. So after a little more searching, um, I, I found it. And it is right here. This, this unit right here is the exhaust gas recirculation valve, the EGR valve, and this is the EGR valve position sensor. Now to take this thing off, there are two bolts, or two nuts I guess, that are of two different sizes, which I have no idea why. This one's smaller, and then this one down here on the bottom, right there, is a little bigger. So you pull those two off, here's your vacuum hose line, you pull that off, forgive the wind, it's uh, blowing like crazy now that I wanted to record. Pull that vacuum hose off, and then this is your sensor line. Of course, before you take anything apart on your car, make sure you disconnect your negative battery terminal. That way you don't short out or burn up any sensors or anything while you're pulling it apart. The other thing I did, this is a uh, hose that runs to my oil, this thing, my oil fill. Um, I assume it's to help lubricate the uh, um, intake manifold and whatnot. I went ahead and pulled that off. It was just a, a push-on coupling here. Pulled that off so I could get this off a lot easier. I don't know where this wind came from. So hopefully that helps you. Again, that's the EGR valve. It's right here on your intake manifold. Um, it comes right off. It's really simple. I don't have a video of cleaning it because it was really, really pretty straightforward on the cleaning process. Uh, I just took it out, wrapped the uh, top portion of it. Here's another angle. It's also got the part numbers there in case, in case anybody needs it. Again, this is a Ford engine. 
It's a 1991 Mercury Grand Marquis. So, as far as cleaning it, um, the easiest way to check and see if the diaphragm inside is good is to pull it off and then cover, cover the end of this vacuum line with your finger. And inside of here there's a pin. You should be able to push the pin up into the uh, valve and then cover with it depressed. Cover this line and then let go of the pin. If it doesn't slide back out, you know it's holding pressure and your diaphragm is fine. If it does slide back out, you've probably got a ruptured diaphragm in here and you'll have to replace the valve. Otherwise, from there, if your diaphragm is fine, I just wrap this whole section here in plastic because this section is separate from, from the actual valve itself. Wrap that all in plastic to keep it dry. And then just take your carb cleaner and spray out the inside. Um, I think I used a B16 Chem Tools as it was the brand that I used. It was one that was recommended at uh, my local hardware store. Um, just spray it out, let it soak for a while, help it uh, clean out all the carbon buildup that's in there. I did spray a little bit up into the, uh, into the intake manifold itself. I didn't want to get too much in there. Um, realistically, it wouldn't hurt anything because the uh, carb cleaner leaves no residue. It, it vaporizes. It also serves the secondary purpose of working as starter, as a starter, yeah, starter fluid, if you need that. So, but we're coming up on five minutes on this video, so I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I hope that's helpful for you. Once again, looking from the front of the engine here, this right here, that right there is the EGR valve. So, this has been helpful for you. I couldn't find the information when I was looking myself. Um, if it helped you out, give us a like. Feel free to subscribe. Maybe in the future we'll have uh, we'll have more videos like this, um, simple do-it-yourself kind of fixes on uh, cars. I've I've got a, a Grand Prix over there as well that I've got to address the power steering on. So we might get something figured out on that. The other thing I'm gonna I'm gonna put up later is the um, engine code scanner for this car. I'm going to show you how I scanned for the engine trouble code because I didn't know what the check engine light was saying. Um, and luckily it wasn't something too horrific and since I've changed that I haven't driven it terribly far but it hasn't triggered the uh, check engine light anymore and all I had to do was clean that that EGR valve. So she seems to run a little better and I uh, guess that's all we're looking for. So. Thanks for watching guys, and if you enjoyed this video, remember give us a like, um, share with your friends, we're, uh, we're building the crew here. <laughs> but, until next time, stay random.